Hi there. As you might know, I like to recreate sounds from songs I like in Vital and other VSTs. Today, I wanted you to show my process of how I make those presets. Since I don't want to risk copyright strikes, I will remake the lead sound from my song Estuary. First, here is an example of what the original and remade presets sound like. Afterwards, I'll show you how I remade the sound. As you might have heard, it is close, but not perfect. Making a perfect copy is exceptionally difficult. Let's start with setting up the original sound, rooted to mixer track 1. There, I place the first spectrogram, for which I use FL Studio's Wave Candy, to get an idea what I need to do. The key element here are spectrograms, one of the original sound, and one for the recreated sound. My VST of choice to recreate this sound will be vital as usual. In FL Studio, you can copy effects like Wave Candy to different mixer tracks by clicking Save As, but then dragging and dropping them around. The trick I use here is putting another Wave Candy spectrogram on top of the previous one, lowering the opacity, and freezing the original sound's spectrogram. Now I directly see what I need to edit. We will use Vital's Additive, or Spectral Wavetable Editor, since the original timbre kind of requires a non-conventional set of frequencies. This already comes quite close. In most cases, I do not come that close so quickly. It may take hours to nail the sound you want. Next, I play with other settings to get it even closer. For example, I know that Vital's filter introduces some additional frequencies in the higher registers, which are also present in the original. I try to make them quieter than the rest. Other important settings might be unison, or better, two oscillators with slightly different pitch, or this time spread and glide, since it is a monophonic lead sound. In the original sound, a ping-pong delay starts when releasing the note. For this, I use a sustain envelope, LFO, routed to the delay volume. Another good idea is to not only compare spectrograms, but also regular periodograms, i.e. EQ curves. This time, I tried out Voxengo's Gliss EQ, where you can overlap the curves like with the spectrogram. Fits quite well. And this is the final result. Of course, a perfect recreation would need much more fine tuning and may be impossible altogether if the original sound uses techniques that Vital does not cover. But you can get at least close. Finally, here are some additional tricks that Vital is good at. For regular synth sounds, the basic shapes wavetable is usually enough. I highly recommend the rectangular pulse setting, which kind of sounds like a simple FM patch. For more complex sounds, FM is also available in Vital, but not as straightforward to use than in VSTs, like Dext, if you want more than three oscillators. Finally, for interesting bell-like sounds, I also recommend the inharmonic stretch function. I hope this was informative. Thank you for watching and see you soon.